Now for these questions, we can still divide using short division, but we're going to get remainders in our answer. So, for 97 divided by 3, we can start with 9 divided by 3. That's exactly 3, because 3 times 3 is 9, so we don't have a remainder. But now, for 7 divided by 3, we get 2 remainder 1. That's because 2 times 3 is 6, but then we need one more to get to 7. So, 97 divided by 3 is 32 remainder 1. Now, 250 divided by 6. So, the first digit is a 2, and that's less than 6. So, let's take the first two digits together and divide 25 by 6. That's 4 remainder 1, because 4 times 6 is 24, but we need one more to get to 25. So now we have 10 divided by 6. That's 1 remainder 4, but we don't have any more digits to write our remainder 4 in front of, so we just write as our answer 41 remainder 4. The remainder is 4 because 1 times 6 is 6, but then we need 4 more to get to 10. So, 250 divided by 6 is 41 remainder 4. Now, 195 divided by 8. Again, we're going to need to take the first two digits together, because 1 is less than 8. So, 19 divided by 8 is 2 remainder 3. That's because 2 times 8 is 16, but then we need 3 more to get to 19. So now we have 35 divided by 8. Well, 4 times 8 is 32, but then to get, from 30, to, get to 35 from 32, we need 3 more. So our remainder is 3. So 195 divided by 8 is 24 remainder 3.